What's up guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, recipes, crafts, DIYs, mixed media, happy mail and hauls, fountain pens, and fountain pen ink, and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. And without further ado, I have a nice haul from Amazon, all pen related of course especially fountain pen related, but I threw in a couple other things. So let's just go one by one. This is a fountain pen pin. So I wanted this just to put on my pen pouch, my Delphonics pen pouch. So I got this and this is, this is uh, actually off of AliExpress. So I just thought I would throw this in here. It was fitting since it's a fountain pen. And then I finally got a loop so I can see what on earth I am doing. So if you just search loops, this is a Carson 4.5X, as you can see, loop, and it's very large. Um, it's four inches in circumference. So... It's not one of those small ones, although I do have my eye on something. But I just want to be able to read the nibs, the nib sizes, and the intricate detail and see it on my fountain pen. So I finally got one, and I'm very happy about that. All right, let's just go one by one. I got the Sharpie um, pen. Won't bleed through paper. And it's your basic Sharpie. Let's see, it's 0 0.8 millimeters. And this came with a set, three of these, and each set has two in them. So there's the package, and here is the actual pen. Okay, very basic. Sharpie's been around for eons. Um, but I just didn't have one, so I wanted to get that. And I'm glad that I finally did. And then I got this Fawns and Porter Mechanical Fabric Pencil. It has 10 pieces of lead. It's a fabric pencil, great for dark fabrics. Soft grip for added comfort. Strong ceramic, 0 0.9 millimeter white lead is specially formulated for fabric and made from water soluble dyes. So, get rid of all of this packaging. I had to wait for this forever to come back in stock. But I'm glad I did. Let me get rid of the packaging now. And it's as an eraser here. Okay. Okay, let me show you a little bit better. Comes out like that. And then there's your lead. Okay. So, got that. Finally. And then, I took this one out of the packaging. Now I'll just take this out. Um, these are very inexpensive. This is a Jacques Herbin dip, glass dip pen. Okay. So the dip pen that I had initially purchased it wasn't working that well so I just I've seen a lot of people use these and I had this in my cart when I got all of my these the Jacques Urban collection that came out at Goulet Pens when they were on sale um, I finally picked that up last year sometime and they had a glass dip pen set um, but I went ahead and got this off of Amazon it was like 20 something dollars so it was much more inexpensive you can get these at cult pens i just didn't want to wait and then this is and this is amber 
as you can see. I have a project that's upcoming, so I wanted to have a couple of options in order to test my fountain pen ink and make some swatches and things of that nature, which is why I got that. And then I got this small version in amber as well, because I like this color. So hopefully um, these will work out nicely. This tip is actually longer than this one, unless they sent me a broken one. I don't know. It looks okay. Doesn't feel jagged, so I think it's fine. All right. But I did get this off of these off of Amazon, so you just never know. And then, last but not least, I got another calligraphy book. Um, this is called Mastering Modern Calligraphy Beyond the Basics, 2700 and Pointed Pen. 2700 plus and Pointed Pen. So, I, and this is by Molly Suber Thorpe, author of Modern Calligraphy. And I've already started reading this. It's spiral bound. It's actually very weighty because the pages are very glossy and illustrated. And I've read other books on, um, let me just show you. So this was the first book I read. Um, this is called The ABC of Custom Lettering, A Guide to Drawing Letters by Ivan Castro. And this is a very thorough book. I finished reading this. I always mark up my books um, in August 2019. When was this published? This was published, first published in 2016. I really like this book. It covers a whole plethora of different types of writing. Calligraphy, the written word, is chapter two. First steps in calligraphy, and then it just goes into different scripts. You have black letter, brush script, italic, lettering, drawing letters. That This is a very good book. And I actually spoke with the author a couple of times on Instagram. So, a uh, very nice person. I'm all about this book. There's italic. Drawing letters. You have your structure, your body, your finish. So, if you don't know anything at all, at all, this is a good book to start with. And I'm so happy that I did. I just learned a plethora of information about letter forms and just the different styles that are out there. So I highly recommend this book. Again, I got this off of Amazon too. So anyway, okay, so back to this new book I got by Molly Thorpe. This so far so good. This is the table of contents. So methods for effective practice, warm up, exercise drills, modern calligraphy letter by letter, modern basic alphabet, modern variations, letters, numbers, and symbols. Chapter four is from letters to words. Um, one change at a time, word ex explorations. Completed alphabets, majuscules and monograms, small layouts, flourishes and borders, and your appendix has grids and guides. Glossary is appendix two, additional resources, appendix three. So I have already started this book. It's really pretty. So it, and it has, I love all the pictures in it. Um, 
here is the Fonz and Porter in red. Mine is this turquoise color. So that's funny. So I really like the style and the way this book is written. And I just started this, so I've read up to about here, so maybe, no, further. Yeah, I'm on just the introduction I read, so I'm on chapter two. But just to give you a little look, a peek inside. Look at that. So you can put this on a light box or you can use your iPad if you want. Um, you're not going to have a be completely free if you do that, but on your, your iPad or whatever. But just to illuminate it with tracing paper and things of that nature. Here is another grid type dot grid. That one is polar grid. These pages so you can practice. And I really appreciate that she has this included. So I'm super happy. I looked for a long time for another book, particularly on calligraphy. And I chose this one out of all the books that I found. So I think this is very well written. I really like it. So, all right, guys, that is my share for the day. Um, if you liked what you saw, I hope this does inspire you guys to start getting into calligraphy. And I do know how to hand letter. So that is how I chose to start. And I'm glad I did because it has a lot of the same principles. So anyway, thank you ever so kindly for watching. If you liked what you saw, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope, I wish you all happy writing out there and having fun with your fountain pens. Peace out.